What can we do for Brown? Package reallocation at UPS Harrisburg by Matt, Kay, and Jordan. For our project, we were paired up with UPS, specifically UPS in Harrisburg, PA. UPS is the largest package delivery company in the world, with over 440,000 employees working to deliver over 15 million packages every day in more than 220 countries. This project will focus on relieving package um, capacity at the Harrisburg sort facility because during the winter and holiday months, they currently have too much package volume and cannot sort the packages in a timely manner and get the packages to your doorstep uh, as promised. In recent years, UPS has experienced a large increase in package volume, specifically in the Harrisburg hub, and as a result, they've built a new hub in Carlisle, Pennsylvania, and our task was to determine how much volume and what kind of volume should we reallocate from Harrisburg to the Carlisle building. This is our process flow map for what it takes to get a package from point A to point B. UPS operates as a hub and spoke sort facility. But however, we will be focusing just at the very end of the process for what it takes to get a package from the final hub to your doorstep. We have defined ideal package allocation as being a complete quality issue. Minimizing the cost was our secondary concern, but our main concern was to reallocate the volume to make sure Harrisburg is not over capacity. We created an integer program to lend credibility to our results and to help us decide which zip codes ultimately we want to move. And we also made a sensitivity analysis, which will help when UPS experiences future growth. There were some assumptions and constraints that we had to follow while doing this project. The first is only whole zip codes can be moved over. Secondly, if a TDP account moves over, the entire zip code must move. TDP accounts are big trailer accounts that go to businesses in the area on a, on a daily basis. Se thirdly, the package volume represents the busiest week in December. If we can handle the heaviest volume during the year, we can handle the other months of the year. And lastly, package workers get paid for 3.5 hours even if they work for less than that. Our results show that all TDP accounts should be moved over to the new Carlisle facility. We then took the remaining zip codes that did not have TDP accounts and built an integer program model to see which zip codes should be transferred over. Of the zip codes that are currently serviced by Harrisburg West, all but three are recommended for transfer. As mentioned earlier, we created an integer programming model using Microsoft Excel to lend credibility to our recommendation. The user can input a projected growth rate and also a total volume which indicates the amount of volume that the user wishes to have move, move over to the Carlisle facility. After this, the user simply clicks the solve button and Excel will spit out the results based on the user's constraints. This is a screenshot of our integer program model. As you can see, you can type in the goal and the percent growth that you might have. And then you hit the solve button and it pops up with the actual packages moved over as well as the estimated costs. In terms of measured improvement, UPS will now be able to handle peak weeks of package volume without utilizing the hub night sort. If they take our recommendations into consideration, their estimated yearly mixed travel costs will be $489,685. Alternatively, if they did not utilize the Carlisle facility and kept all routes originating in Harrisburg, their costs would be significantly more. We also calculated the estimated cost if they were to move all zip codes currently serviced by Harrisburg to the Carlisle facility. The final layout of the Carlisle Sorts Center is currently being finalized, but when it is, they should as soon as possible begin servicing the recommended zip codes to prepare for the upcoming peak week in July. They should also look to keep the Carlisle Center servicing these zip codes year-round, not only during peak times. This is mainly due to the several major operational challenges that are associated with having it open part-time. These include the rerouting of the zip codes, as well as hiring and firing part-time employees. 
for the Carlisle Center. Given the possibility of package volume growth, closing Harrisburg West and operating solely out of the new Carlisle Center in Harrisburg East may be an option. We would like to acknowledge Dr. Bapaya Bedanda, Dr. Daniel Jang, Mike Carnish, Mike Spies, Kate Coach, Lonnie Wagner, Zach Wise, and Caroline Pontari for their help with this project.